selfie. It's Chris in fifth year. Just saw you guys in PE. You're a pretty good volleyball player. Could watch you all day. In case you didn't know you left your jumper on the court, I'd be more than happy to hold on to it for you. Hey Chris. Ah, uh, thank you so much. I was wondering all right where I left it. It'd be really good for picking it up for you. Uh, when can I get back on you? I can meet you after school if it suits. I wouldn't want you to get cold in those little shorts. <laughs> You're so considerate. Thanks, good, sure. I'll see you where I'm so. I'm so sorry. I had to rush home after school. I hope you weren't waiting for me too long. Do you mind holding on to me? Onto it for me until tomorrow. Not a problem. Uh, it has a nice smell. <laughs> Hope that wasn't rude of me if that I smelled your jumper. <laughs> Not rude. I'm just glad it smells okay. <laughs> and how's the end of that? I have an idea. How about a fair exchange? If you want your jumper back, then I'll have to, then you'll have to do something for me. Since I was so nice to find this. So since I was so nice to make it for you. Fair exchange? Oh, I'm intrigued. Go on, so what do you want from me? Haven't gotten those legs out of my head all day. I'd love to see a pick of them. You need to get them out more often. Oh, stop. I'm so conscious of my legs. I always think they're way too muscular and manly. No chance. All the lads were chatting about it earlier. I just have the balls to say it. We all agree you're fit. Not gonna lie, I like watching you all up and sweaty. Even though you're sweaty, you're still the hottest girl in school. Okay. Whatever you say, Gorgeous. 
I'll see you soon, so. Yes. I'd love to see those legs and those little shorts again. Sorry I missed your call. I was in the shower. I told you I was going to call you at 7. You couldn't have waited? I'm sorry. I was just in from the match and I really needed to shower. I felt disgusting. You said to be free to take my call at 7. I had better things to be doing than waiting around you for you to answer your polite phone when you said you would. Bad form. Jeez, I'm sorry, Chris. Anyways, how was your day? Yeah, sound. I'm out with the lads, as usual. How the match go? Yeah, we won. The girls are all meeting up tomorrow night to celebrate. Would you mind if I went along, just for a little while? Did you not already tell me you wanted to go to the cinema with me tomorrow night? Why are you changing your mind all of a sudden? You can't just make plans and then cancel them when it suits. I could have planned to do something with the boys, but I said nice. But I said it'd be nice to stay with you instead. You've got your priorities all screwed up. Look, we can still go to the cinema. We can do the early show, and then I can meet the girls and you can meet the boys after? Not a big deal. Not a big deal? You made plans with me. You made plans with me, you need to stick with them. The whole world's going to revolve around you. Jesus. I'm sorry. Where are you thinking of going, the girls? I don't know. I haven't discussed it properly with them. Probably the tops, I guess. The usual place for slags get together. Chris, my friends aren't slags. That's not fair. You don't even know them that well. Well, I know enough about them to know a lot of them are. It doesn't do much for your reputation hanging around with them. You need to find new friends or people who start calling you a slag soon, too. I don't care what other people think of me. Only what you think. To be honest, the last time you were out with them, you were dressed like a complete tart. So, like you forgot you even had a boyfriend. I mean, who the hell was dressed like that anyways? Do you have someone else you're trying to impress? Of course not. I don't dress to impress anyone. I dress just to feel good about myself. So dressing like a slapper would make you feel good. Right, okay. When did I ever dress like a slapper? When you were with the girls the last night? That skirt you wore was practically showing off your whole arse. And you don't see that as a problem? I don't want a girlfriend who is that disrespectful. People will talk about you if you keep dressing like that. Chris, I've never worn a skirt that showed off my whole arse. And I'd never disrespect you. Why do you always put me down? You're really hurting my feelings. I'm not putting you down. God, you can be such a baby sometimes. Stop it, Chris. You're really making me upset. I never talk to you this way. Well, stop being so dramatic. Seriously, give it for the stage. I know how much you're up the center of attention, but I can tell when you're acting a prick. Please, Chris, you know how much I love you, and I'd do anything for you. I don't want to fight. This isn't a fight. You're just always choosing the girls over me. I'm supposed to be your best friend. I've given up loads for you. <laughs>